Always turn off the lights. Part 1. Submitted by Not Afraid of Nothing. So, most of you probably turn off the lights when you leave a room, right? I mean, who doesn't? Apparently, my husband. I love Steven to pieces, but it was just never a habit he formed as a kid. He's been good about it for the last few days, but that's probably because he finally started seeing the things too. When I was a kid, there were a lot of rules about keeping the house clean and making sure the lights were always off. I never thought much of it because most of my friends had similar rules in their houses. My family always knew about the things, but it might just be because ours have so many rules for generations. Have you ever seen the things I'm talking about? When you see something out of the corner of your eye, you turn really quick to see it, and it's gone. If not, you've probably got some pretty relaxed. Whatever they are. My family has always had to do a lot to appease the things. My mom had it worse than her mom, but was still able to figure out their rules and keep up with them pretty easily. For the most part, the rules my mom's things have to seem to be stuff we'd regularly do anyway. Always turn the lights off when you leave a room. Always keep internal doors open at least a crack, yes, even the bathroom. Always leave a glass of water, at least half full, somewhere in the house. Always leave any window coverings at least partially open. Always leave an empty drawer or closet in the house, my mom taught me a good trick for this one. Get an old sewing table with lots of tiny drawers that are too small to effectively use. It still counts. When cooking meat, always put a small portion, uncooked, on a plate. Throw it away if left more than 24 hours without disappearing. This doesn't apply to pre-cooked meats like deli meat. There do seem to be some other rules about cleaning, but I am not sure what they might be. As a general rule of thumb, we always just keep the house clean and tidy. You'll know right away if you break any rules, because you'll start to see these things hanging around. At first, not too often, but the longer you break the rules, the more frequently they come and the sharper their outlines look. The rules aren't the same for every household, it totally depends on your specific things. At first, when my husband and I moved into our first house about a year ago, I never saw a single one. It was months before I glimpsed anything. I thought I had gotten off easy with some laid-back things. I started spotting them around October, as it got darker during the days. Stephen would leave the lights on more frequently, so I think that's what triggered the things. I asked him to stop, and he did try to keep it in mind. But the things never stopped showing up. By November, I was starting to see how tall these things were, and I could see more of their outlines. I was surprised at how human they looked. I'd never seen one so clearly before. I begged my husband to start following the rules, and I called my mom to see what all she had to do for hers. She gave me her list of rules, and I started following them. Nothing has gotten better. I've started being able to see really what the things look like. There are at least four of them. I only see them in the periphery, but two look like older men, one looks like a young woman, and one is really hard to tell. Our cats have started being more protective of me. If I am sitting at my computer, one of them will always be sitting behind my chair staring at the doorway. I think they are trying to keep me safe from those things. Steven dismissed all of this. He'd say he sees stuff out of the corner of his eyes, but that it is just paranoia or a mind trick. Or at least he did until late last week. He was walking by my office and thought he saw me sitting in there out of the corner of his eye. He called out to me and asked what I wanted for dinner. He was looking at this phone so didn't really look at me. When he got to the kitchen and saw me standing there, he jumped and sort of skipped slash half jogged back to the office. There was no one in there, but the things don't exactly let you see them, so it's not surprising. Since then, he's been more wary of the things he's seeing. He agrees with me now, he can see them too, and it's not a figment of our imagination. They've started getting close to us as well, they used to stay in different rooms or across the house. I am now seeing them as I enter a room, and even one sitting beside me on the couch. We don't know if they will harm us, but they feel so wrong, I can't imagine that they are here to help. Even though Steven started turning the lights off and I've been better about cleaning, I am seeing them more and more. Their images are getting sharper and sharper, I am starting to get really scared. Most distressingly, some things have started to move around in the house. I've never heard of these things doing something like that. Our latest theory is that there's a new rule. I hope we figure it out before we learn what these things are really capable of.